Hey guys, today I have something exciting for to be unboxes number three. It is the first of what I anticipate is going to be many unboxings from the Persona 5 franchise because Persona 5 is one of my favorite games ever and I have purchased a ton of merchandise and such from it, but you know, most of it has never been opened. In fact, I think I've only opened one well, one. I think I've opened exactly one of the items ever that I have purchased from Persona 5, which was a Morgana the Cat Nendoroid, but I have pretty much the entire collection of Figmas and Nendoroids, but I'm not opening any of those today because instead I am opening up this Pop-Up Parade Good Smile Company Joker from Persona 5. This is something that I got for Christmas last year from Bang, and I have had it sitting around and it is a beautiful object. So I haven't really minded having it sit in my room unopened for the past year, but you know, since it is so beautiful, I figure I might as well open it up at some point. And also I did offend Bang yesterday because he had to look at my quote, double chin in To Be Done Boxes number two. And so I would like to make that up to him for him having to witness that. So I'm going to open up Joker here from Persona 5, Pop-Up Parade, the very first Persona 5 Pop-Up Parade figure, and one of the first Pop-Up Parade uh, figures that was ever made by Good Smile Company. So, I've got my trusty X-Acto knife, and I believe that I'm going to X-Acto this open. I've never actually opened a Pop-Up Parade figure. Oh, there it goes. Easy. Easy. And... Trying not to cut my hand off. All right, so I made three cuts there, and here we go. So this is going to pull right out, and you can see the box has the cool Persona 5 red, black, and white color scheme with the super cool stars. The back is pretty plain. It just says pop-up right on it. It's got some legal text and things, but you know, it's, it's nothing really exciting, but you know, it's a pretty box, and I am glad that I have had this box around in my room for the last eight months. But what I'm actually excited about is this figure of Joker from Persona 5. Uh, like I said, this is one of the first pop-up parade figures from Good Smile Company. It is their new line of PVCs that they started to release last year. And I'm going to exacto this open as well. Uh, the pop-up parade line is actually really cheaply priced because these figures are, I don't know, one-seventh, one-eighth scale, but they're only about $40, which is quite cheap compared to other PVCs on the market. So I pulled off the top shell and dropped Joker, you know, on my desk, but I'm sure he's fine. Won't be needing this exacto. All right, so I have got Joker here, and we can take a look at him. And I haven't had a chance to really look at him yet myself because I've been holding him here for you. But now that I do have a chance to look at him, I can see that the lines are all very neat and clean. I see even paint applications. I don't see anything that is out of place. All of the buttons on his uh, shirt are nicely painted. His eyes are well done. Gloves look good. He's a, you know, he's an adequate size. He feels a little bit light. He's not a heavyweight PVC, but, you know, I kind of feel like that is to be expected, given that this is a PVC that originally retailed for like $39.99, even though Joker has become quite popular and hard to get. I think he was selling for like $100 plus when I had last looked. And he comes with this red hexagonal stand, which he can slot into like so. And here he is. You know, he's doing a cool, like, Phantom Thief-like pose. He looks ready to move. He's got some fluidity to him. Um, I think this is as good of a representation of his personality as any, because, you know, Joker does not have a lot of personality in the games since he is the player character. And, you know, he he is, you know, he has circumstances. He was a good guy. He stopped someone from being raped. And that is what leads to the main plot of the game. But for the most part, like, you were controlling his actions and the things he says in the game. So for me, he was just, you know, pretty lawful good and a little bit bland. But he is the most marketable character from the game because of, you know, being the player character. And this is a nice figure of him. 
this is good work here by Good Smile. And you know, this pop-up parade line, it is rapidly expanding. There are a lot of entries in it already. And at the low price, I, I think it's pretty cool. I don't love, I never love these sorts of clear stands so that you can have a character who is, you know, kind of standing up on just the front of their foot or anything like that. That looks a little bit weird to me. But overall, as a PVC, I think this is a nice figure. I like it. It's a little bit light. It's very nicely painted. It captures the design of the character well. His facial sculpt is really good. The mask looks nice. And, you know, I'm delighted to have him. And I'm glad that I've finally taken him out of the box. And uh, I will look forward to opening up more Persona 5 items in the future. And I guess that that is really all I have to say about that. So, you know, have a good day, everybody. And I will unbox probably something else tomorrow.